hey, ready for an update? Well, let's get to it. Hey, what's up everyone? So this week, we're gonna give you an update on the tank. We're gonna take a look at some of the corals, see what the growth is, some problems that are going on, and solutions that I've come up with to answer those uh, problems. And also, um, at the end of the video, there is going to be a, uh, I'm gonna tell you what's coming up. Getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so at the end of the video, uh, there's going to be a little information on what's going on, uh, prices that have been locked in, and also, efforts that, go, that are going on to get a little bit more of a mix in, in the prize that's going to be given away for the 2000 subscriber contest. Um, if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button hit the bell for updates and notifications uh, when new videos come out on the channel. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming up, a lot of exciting videos that are going to be coming up for the channel that you won't want to miss. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your support and your comments that are always appreciated down below. So, with that being said, let's get to the tank. Okay, so here we are at the tank and we're uh, looking at a wide view of it. You can see there's some changes that have gone on. Uh, the torch moving to the left side on the shelf rock because I, I wanted to create more upflow for, for it. Uh, and it's reacted like I thought it would. The tentacles are up and sweeping, um, and the sweepers are out, uh, as you can see up top. Um, the chalice and the Montipora, the red Montipora cap are on the right side. Top portion of the rockscape is dedicated basically to acros and SPS. Uh, my middle being more towards um, more SPS that don't require as much light, and the bottom being dedicated to LPS and um, some softies, the Zoas and whatnot, although I do have Zoas in the middle of the um, tank on one of the shelves. So um, let's go into the tank, get a closer look, and see what's going on and what the uh, basic, the, uh, the biggest events that are going on in the tank right now as far as growth or, or what have you. Uh, so let's zoom in and check it out. So right off the bat, you can see the button scrolling in the back has gotten a lot bigger. Um, you can see it's fully on the sand now, totally off, off the side of the plugs, and along with um, the ACAN barrel banky in the back, um, that right now is feeding. I just fed the tank so it's kind of curled up, but it does give you a chance to see the polyps that are forming on the side. Pulling out a little bit, the trachea's doing fine, it's, again, it's post-feeding, um, and it is kind of thinner than it usually is right now. I have to check my levels today, so I'm just wondering if maybe uh, there's a little bit of an imbalance going on due to the addition of the SPS that I put in the tank that's causing this to react that way. Um, only testing will tell. Uh, biggest part of any reef tank is testing and knowing what is going on with your water quality to actually predict what's going on with a particular coral. Right here you can see four corals in frame, two of the Favias, one is the um, Fungia plate, and you can see also the, the Blasto is doing really well, again post feeding right now, and you can make out, um, let me see if I can get you a better shot, right there are some of the smaller polyps that are underneath it. Uh, you can see really good now the uh, favia that came from Aquarium Care Center has done a lot better as far as growth uh, in recent days than the one that I have here that I've, that's been in my tank for some time. Towards the back is the Pali and Zoa Garden, that Tonga branch. Uh, it's still doing well. I do intend to eventually remove that uh, and trade that in for either something or uh, just get some store credit because uh, I'm leaning more now, more than ever, towards SPS. So I need more space in the rock work. 
Right here, the purple, gold, and green uh, trumpet or candy cane corals are really doing well. They've increased in size and um, really, really liking what's going on with this coral in this spot. Right here, you see the Hollywood Stunner is just taken off in my tank. It's really amazing how this coral keeps progressing as, as the uh, updates come in. And you could really see from week to week the noticeable difference. Right up here, I have the red digi and the forest fire digi from Fisher Hex um, are really doing well, and I'm looking forward to them filling out the overflow here, which has really come along, along with that little cl cluster of purple digi that was left over when the main colony um, died off. Right here is a full close up of the torch. Uh, you can see now how big and um, just the tentacles are flowing up and how full it is. It does look like it's a little close to the red uh, setosa, but it's actually not. It's a, it's a good deal away from it. I'm not worried about any of those tentacles reaching out. Plus the upflow keeps it away. So right here you see the, the green encrusting Monty. That is really doing well, and since it's been up the top, you can see the tips, how green they got. A lot of the purple or brownish coral uh, polyps are now turning a bright green and giving the coral a totally different look. It just goes to show how the, what the difference in lighting can cause a coral to do. Uh, everything else is doing well up in this section. You can see here is the... Uh, the grafted Monty experiment. I did lose one of those corals um, and I'm thinking it might be because these two pieces of Monty are not uh, compatible. Uh, there are some times that you, you do get some um, genus of, of Monty pora that will sting the other one and kill it, but these two um, are going to prove whether that's so and they uh, are still holding on and there's no fighting between them and they're actually touching so um, we'll see what happens with that. You can see the purple Monty in the back and the pink chalice from Worldwide Corals is up at the top. Um, they're slow growing right now uh, and uh, only time will tell what's gonna go on with those. Okay, so right here is the Acan Garden. Really doing well. I don't have a gel filter on it because I'm running uh, basically an experiment on how uh, different settings of lighting make my tank look. Um, right now it's at 4% of the whites and the blues are up to 100. And it looks like I'm getting a pretty good picture of the corals with it. So um, all the acans are doing really good. Um, the Rasta corals that you can see here are doing well. I am having a problem in the tank with um, Aptasia enemies, you can see one right here, two right here, three right here. Um, I have been doing a lot of research on it and either a file fish or there is a genus of peppermint shrimp that won't go after the zoas. Uh, it's just a matter of getting those. I know a lot of people have commented on some of my videos that uh, the peppermint shrimp do become a problem with uh, once the Aptasia is gone that they'll go after the zoas. But uh, research has basically shown that um, it's one genus alone that just goes after those Aptasia anemones and uh, won't touch anything else. But we'll see. I may just go with the file fish just to play it on the safe side. Right here in the center, there's the birthday cake coral and the open brain. Um, basically, uh, the brain coral is doing well. Both of these corals are really encrusting down and um, no complaints about these whatsoever. Okay, here's a coral that I, I haven't mentioned in a while. The night before Christmas coral uh, is doing well in this area and encrusting down the rock. You can see right here the red mushrooms uh, are really taking off. More babies, more and more. And even that one that was in right there at the top of the screen um, that was in that hole came out and is now starting to grow out there. As uh, time goes on, it, I'm really looking that this is going to fill out with these red mushrooms. To a point, I'll probably replace the whole rock and um, you know maybe try and frag some of these off. But for the time being, as far as the tank looks, 
Um, this whole rock being filled with these mushrooms is not really uh, something that I don't want in my tank. I really want that because I want to see how it's going to look. Okay, now coming over to the extreme, to the right side of the tank, um, here you see my oldest Euphelia, and this is the green frog spawn that I've had for the life of uh, this tank and also my, my very first reef tank. Um, it's really doing good, and so are the two clowns. The black and white one that you see in your screen, John from Aquarium Cast Center identified it as a phantom clown, and it is now um, basically best buddies with the um, Ocellaris clown that I have in the tank. The Ocellaris used to be the male for the black onyx, and now it looks like that that clownfish has become the female, and the phantom is now the male. They get along great, they eat fine, and I'm looking forward to seeing them hopefully become a mated pair in the future. Here are, here are two more pieces of Euphelia, and uh, these are two frog spawns that I have in the tank, and um, they won't be long for the tank. Uh, my intention is to actually take these out and sell them. Um, one of the heads on the green on blue is kind of pissed off right now because, like I said, the tank was just fed. But I want to free up this area for some more SPS um, because, obviously, I'm starting to lean more heavily on the SPS side of things. Right here are the two Ghani frags that I have. The hot pink Ghani and uh, the pink and yellow one, both from Aquarium Cast Center. The hot pink one is a little withdrawn right now because um, when I feed the tank, the two tanks go crazy and they start swimming around and they got a little irritated by that. But the pink and yellow one really stays out all the time and this is the way it looks pretty much around the clock. And I am going to eventually take it off this frag plug and glue it down to this rock. Right here is a close up of the red Monty cap. Uh, really doing well over in this corner. And I like that now it's not pitching up as far and stretching to the water line to get light. Um, it looks like it's settling out here and starting to spread a little bit, which is ex exactly what I wanted to do. Right here is the uh, acro I got from Aquarium Cast Center, this purple and uh, green polyped acro, um, which I, has, I haven't named yet. And it's doing really good on this rock, along with all the frags I have from Fish of Hex. Here's a gr the green and blue tipped uh, frag. I have another green, um, really nice green and long frag of SPS from Fish FX. And there's the Fish FX Millie in the background. All these corals are doing well and growing. The polyp extension is really nice on them. And um, I'm really excited about this rock in general. Of course, the on top is the crown jewel of the tank. This is the Jason Fox Barney Coral, and uh, you can see how well it's doing. A lot of growth at the tips. It's a deep purple, and the tips, at, when the tank goes totally blue, turn to a, uh, uh, like a light bluish purple. And you could just see, after feeding the tank, what the polyps do on this coral. Um, really, really the nicest piece. Um, one of my nicest pieces, anyway. Uh, in the tank, and you can see the base here. Um, you can see there's a little bit of the neon green that it also uh, shows at times. And here's a closer look of the SPS that's on the real reef rock. Again, all are doing well. This one from in the center is from uh, Reef Spy, and this one here is. I'm going to go close on it for a uh, for Billy Pipes. Just to show him exactly what this coral has done in my tank since it came from him. Uh, that whole back section in the upper part of the screen is all new growth and the polyp extension is ridiculous on this uh, SPS frag. So now we're back out to the, the full tank shot. Um, that's basically the update for this week. And I want to just remind you that um, coming up on my 2000 subscribers, so there is going to be a contest for that. I've locked in Aquarium Cast Center. They're going to be donating a $200 gift certificate. There'll be an official video very, very soon on what that contest is going to be, how it's going to be run, and also what the winner will win. So that'll take care of the update for this week. 
So until next time, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.